hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Teresa. i'm a content creator based right here in loring Kwara state nigeria so if you love what you see already consider subscribing just click on that subscribe button below don't forget to turn on post notification that will notify you whenever i post a new content and also to my returnees, thank you guys for coming back to watch my video. So guys, before I dive right into this video, I have a good news for us. So you can check my community tab where I explain a lot of things about what I'm about to say. So finally, we have the uh, membership stop on this channel. So it's just a form of supporting my channel monthly with token. So if you are new here or if you are not, beside that subscribe button, you'll see a join button. So just click on it and we have our different packages. So I really appreciate you guys if you can support this channel with, you understand, any one of the packages. All right. So that's that. How about that? All right. So today I'll, I'm just here to tell you guys. That some Nigerians are after me because of Ghana and Ghanaians. So, in the past few weeks or days now, I've been deleting some insensitive comments on my on my videos. So, this is what happened. Whenever we I talk about Ghana, or maybe in the course of my video, I mention Nigeria. You see some Nigerians trying to come from my head. And I'll be like, I'm not lying. See, I stay in Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian based right here in Nigeria. So whatever it is I say about Nigeria is what I'm saying. It's what is happening, what we can see. So and the funniest part here is that most of those people commenting are not even living in Nigeria. So my dear, what you read on social media, what you listen to on social media, and what is happening are different. So it is not everything that is happening that you see on social media. Of course, you can, for example, now if you are staying in the UK and I'm in Nigeria, what you are experiencing there and what I'm reading or watching on the internet, it's not the same thing. There are two different scenarios. You understand? So I don't know why some of you come here and said you are lying, you are this. Some people will go as far as insulting me. If you insult me, see, I'll delete your comments. That just it. Or if you try to insult anybody, just be civic with your with your with your comments. You don't have to be insulting. You don't have to prove that you are in Nigeria. We know you are in Nigeria. We know that most of us are frustrated. So it's not your fault that you are in Nigeria. But you don't have to bring your frustration to my to my video. You don't have to bring it to my comment section. You don't have to show me that you are frustrated. You are not really frustrated, Nigeria. Basically, <laughs> honestly speaking, most of us Nigerians are frustrated. There should be one or two things that will make you kind of frustrated in this country. But you don't have to transfer it to anybody because it's not my fault that you are in this country. And it's not my fault that you don't have means of living. Because if you have the means of living and you are not here, you won't transfer your aggression to my own comment section you understand so uh, already this this country is just like an appalling we have an appalling issue that it makes in every aspect in every human endeavors to do anything in this country it practically comes with stress you understand i'm also in nigeria i have some things that i try to do also that you know is always stressful but i don't have anybody to transfer migration to because nobody sent me come nigeria you understand and as me, I had the means to live. Ah, me too. I won't be in this country. So, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, you don't have any reason to transfer your aggression to my comment section. It doesn't make sense. You understand? As a matter of fact, Nigeria has gained independence for over 60 years. And till now, there is nothing to show for it. Economically, politically, financially, there is a kind of confusion in this country. And it's not only with the uh, with with, the, uh, with Nigerians. It starts from our leaders because if they are not confused, they travel out. They see a lot of, a lot of things that happen in other places. 
they can emulate it. So, so what are you trying to say? You can see that we are confused, obviously. So another problem that I think facing Nigerians again is education. So most of um, our population, they are illiterate. And even when I mean illiterate, some of us are literate, like we went to school, but the school did not go through us. You understand? So, because if you are literate, you won't come to my comment section to drop a comment like someone that is, you understand? So, for example, if I am to ask random Nigerians some of the problems or issues facing them, you will hear a lot. So, if you would love to see such content, if you would love me to ask people around some of the problems facing them in Nigeria, let me know down there in the comment section. At least you will know that I am not the only one complaining. We are a lot. So if, for example, now I am to ask various people, as a Nigerian living in Nigeria, I should be able to give you some of the answers you should be expecting, like bad leadership, epileptic um, electricity, lack of social amenity, poor infrastructure, poverty, hunger, diseases, and so on. So the fact is that most people in this country are hungry. You understand? People are hungry. There is no food. Food is expensive. You understand? So, um, it's not like, you see, like uh, Yoruba people do say, you know, back then, our parents would ask us, ah, if they, after serving you food, they ask you, I hope you are, you, are, you are satisfied. You understand? If you are not, they will give you more. But you see this present Nigeria, the only thing a parent who has a child now is, have you eaten? There is no, are you satisfied? That question is not available right now in Nigeria. The question is, have you eaten? As long as you've eaten something, that just is, and it's not their fault. Even to get food is expensive. Everything is expensive in this country. I was at, at the market this morning, although the, uh, the video won't be on my channel, it will be on my sister's channel. I link it in the description box so you guys can check it out. She wrote the prices of the things we got for you to see how the price of things have skyrocketed overnight, and nobody is saying anything. Then those of you that are in Nigeria will come to my comment section and tell me hey, you are lying. It's not true. You are a fool. You are a this. So like, like I said earlier, lack of education is one of the greatest problems we have in this country. And it is not even now. It did not start now. So to some extent, I'm not blaming our present leaders because this problem has been in existence since we got independence in 1960. You know, back then, the um, illiteracy rate was very high. People were not really going to school, they are not educated. So, you know, the few ones that were educated, you know, they tried to lord over those that were not. And up to now, I don't know, up to now, we still have illiterates. And most times, even when you try to, um, when you try to make them see reasons with us, they will never see reasons with you. You understand? Why I say so? Because, you know, back then now, uh, for um, those that want to um, lead us, what they need then was just to give them food, give them some little cash, some material things that are not really relevant. You understand? So then we, are, I, I understand that, okay, then they, they were not educated. But what about now that we have those that are educated? The issue is that this trend still continues till now. Election will take place here in Nigeria next year, and already we'll be seeing a lot of things. You understand? And the, the fact that most of you come here to insult me, so I don't understand. Even a lot of uh, comedians, some Instagram and YouTube comedians, Nigerian comedians, they make a lot of series. Example is Mr. Macaroni. If you don't know Mr. Macaroni, he creates a lot of skits around how our leaders entice people with what is not just for them to get their votes. And after everything, nothing. But the issue here is that people still, this thing keep repeating itself every time there is an election. If you say it now that you guys should not collect anything from anybody, they will still collect. The next election, they will still collect. And that's why I said, to some extent, most of these were not even illiterate. That's the funniest part. They are not illiterate. I know some of them that they are educated. And I'll be shocked, like, why is this person doing this? Why? Okay. For example, now a lot of um, comedians or a lot of, I don't know, influencers has been called out because after protesting against bad governance, against bad, bad leadership it, um, during the NSAS period, uh, 2020, now some of them are already campaigning for some of those people that we said we don't want in power. 
are they illiterate? They are not. Okay, should I call it poverty? I, I don't think they are really poor, but at least we know their money, past money. So maybe, maybe it's poverty, maybe they are hungry. I can't really say that. But the fact is that the trend continues. And another thing is that I don't know why someone will live for four years, then we've turned you to like a routine. After that four years, they have to live for another four years automatically. If what you promise people, you are unable to. So in developed societies, when you campaign and you are elected, there are some enlightened electorates that will be watching what you'll be doing. They will make sure that all what you promise the masses, you are able to deliver. And if you are not, there is, you, you can't automatically lead them for another four years. But in Nigeria, once you live for this tenor, the next tenor is like they just turn into eight years automatically. If so another solution I think we need again is to have a common goal. M most times, most, most of our leaders, they have different approach. But at the end of the day, we still end up with the same thing. Like it has turned to a routine. You understand? Because right now, nothing seems to be, to be working in Nigeria. It's just like we are moving backwards. Nothing seems to be working. There is stagnancy and there is underdevelopment. And it's just like... We are standstill, or at times it's just like we are we are moving backwards, and you'll be like, is this thing not supposed to be moving forward? Why is it coming backwards again? So now, people like us that have platform like our YouTube channel, we tend to just say all these things because we never can tell somebody might come across this video and they'll see that people are not are not happy, people are hungry. If most of you are conversant with TikTok, there's this particular guy on TikTok is and do is Osita popcorn. So what it does basically is it give people uh, money. It, maybe if sometimes he them for something like I please I need so so thing. So the first person to answer him, just check it, just check out his TikTok account. You you see a lot of like you see a lot of people. Some people they are homeless. They sleep under the bridge. Even there there was one woman he helped. She does not even have umbrella. Not even under the bridge. Just inside the sun, like that. And you're telling me people are not hungry so people are hungry this country is just is moving backwards so i don't know the reason why some of you will stay in the uk in the us canada wherever it is you are and you will be telling us that we are lying we are not lying and like i said if you want uh, me to do um a street interview asking people some of the problems that they are facing as nigerians living in nigeria let me know down there in the comment section at least that should be able to convince you that I'm not the only one complaining. And if you are also in Nigeria, you're watching this. Um, I want to plead with you to get your PVC against next year election so that we can vote the rightful person. So it's not about coming online to, to, to talk, to just say different things. But at the end of the day, on the day of the election, you will be indoor. You won't go out to vote. Because some of you will be like, my vote does not count. Or I don't know the kind of excuses you guys give, but I will just plead with us to get our PVC and try to vote the rightful person. All right. So if you love my content and if you watch this part, please subscribe if you are yet to. Don't forget to turn on post notification that will notify you whenever I post a new content. And of course, like I said from the beginning, to join uh, this channel membership, just click on that join button to support this channel with a token and also like share and comment let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay safe and remain blessed bye bye mm -hmm.